Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today's video is a slightly random one, I guess. Um, I guess, I don't know. I don't just film like beauty stuff and boxes and that, I just film everything. And today I really want to tackle my DVD collection. I'm just suddenly feeling motivated to do that. I think it's because I've got other things to do and so I've decided to distract myself by doing another job and still feel like I'm productive but I'm not doing the more important things. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I have behind these doors a bookshelf of DVDs. I keep them all in alphabetical order and I was thinking to myself, I want to create space on the shelves so that I can put my books on there at some point whenever I get round to sorting out my books but um, I never watch DVDs. I never watch DVDs. Why don't you join me for the ride? I think if you're watching this video, I don't know, you'll see what kind of films I like, what films I've like collected I guess, and then also what films I want to keep, which ones I love. Uh, and by seeing the ones that I love and the ones I want to keep then, you know, maybe I'll give you a few recommendations. Who knows? Okay, so here is just like an overview of what it all looks like. Uh, in the top shelf I have games and just random stuff. Um, this, my ex-boyfriend when he moved out left this to me. Uh, I haven't watched it. Copies of films, oh my goodness. The Greatest Showman. Then we've got TV series in alphabetical order, like numbers first and then alphabetical order. The Skins um, series, I have to get rid of it because a couple of the CDs are scratched and I knew that years ago but I still kept them. But I'd love to replace them. <laughs> then we've got all the notebook, oh, all the notebooks, I read the notebook. <laughs> uh, all the films. Uh, these ones have got like two or three films in one kind of thing, um, so I put them there and then we start with numbers and then we go in alphabetical order. These are um, ones that I repurchased because they weren't missing and these are literally my three favourite films. Um, then we have more down here, more down here. These must be ones that I watched fairly recently and just haven't put back. Uh, then we have CDs. I think I am still going to have a CD shelf, but um, I've got loads more in my car, so I'm not really going to start the CDs today. And then down here, I've got my Christmas shelf. Um, I do actually have a couple of Christmas DVDs. I'll grab them. They're under my TV from when I watch them at Christmas. And I'm sure I've got more Christmas CDs in this. And then also, in this bag, um, my mum went through her stuff in the loft. Um, and gave me all my old DVDs and Ugly Betty's in there but I think I'm going to get rid of it but let's just go through it all and see what happens. <laughs> Sorry that this side is really dark, it's being blocked by like my unit and my hamster cage and stuff but hey. Okay so the top shelf was like games and also like comedy things and that kind of thing and random stuff so I've got two DVDs here which my mum made. These are DVDs of my granddad. Um, my granddad made brooms for uh, a Harry Potter film and also for the Queen um, and he was in a lot of like TV shows. Um, he was on the Generation Game teaching people how to make a broom quickly and things like that. And my mum got all of the stuff that he was on, like all the TV shows he was on um, and put them on DVD. So obviously I'm keeping that keep pile. This is from a skydiving place that I went to. Interestingly, this actually has my stepmom and my brother's name on, so maybe I'm not even on this DVD. I was going to throw it away, but it's not even me, so maybe I'll ask if my brother wants it. This is from June 2014. Um, so quite a while ago, but I remember we did like an indoor skydiving thing. I'll ask my brother if he wants it. He probably doesn't. Um, and they filmed it, but like I don't want to see that. Uh, this, we've got Sims stuff. Okay. Sims 4 for the Xbox, I am obviously keeping, I'm keeping that. I've got Tomb Raider for the Xbox 360. Does Xbox 360 work on Xbox One? It probably doesn't, but I'm going to check. Um, and if it doesn't, I'm going to throw it away. So that's another thing to check. 
I have this collector's edition of The Sims 4 uh, that comes with like a plug-in, one of these that lights up, um, depending on the sim you're playing, depending on their emotion, that lights up and that would be quite cool in like a Twitch stream or something, wouldn't it? So that's still in there. I think I'm gonna keep it. I also have visions of like me doing Twitch one day, I don't know. But I remember like buying this as soon as Sims 4 came out and then this is the thing that plugs in. It's like by USB, so I am gonna keep that just in case I get a PC and I wanna play Sims 4 on it, because why not? Um, I've got Sims 3 Ambitions. Uh, well, we're on Sims 4 now, aren't we? So I am going to give that away so let me find a giveaway pile cool now we've got uh funny people <laughs> comedians that's what they are i've got two lee evans monsters because um i haven't opened either of them but this was a good show i've watched it a couple of times maybe i must have watched it on like catch up or something i'm gonna keep one um and obviously another one is gonna be given away michael mcintyre um i think my dad bought this for us a couple of years ago did I did we see Michael McIntyre? I feel like maybe we did. And that's why he got it. I actually can't remember. I'm gonna get rid of them. I haven't even opened this one, but I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm not gonna watch it, but I am gonna watch Lee Evans. This is Access All Arenas. It's got um something at the at Wembley, XL Tour, and then it's got the big big something tour. The one with the water. That's a funny one. That one there. What is it called? Is it just called Big? Big Live at the O2. That's the funniest show I've ever seen. Um, that's the one where he's like, I'm fish paste. Um, <laughs> my friend bought this for me years ago. Charlotte's Three Minute Belly Blitz. Uh, Charlotte from Geordie Shaw. I'm going to keep it because who knows, I might do it. I've been doing some dance workouts sometimes. Uh, the Greatest Showman I am going to keep. But obviously I'll put it in with the other DVDs. Ill Manners, I think I'll keep it just to watch it. Uh, and then we've got copies of things. A copy of Salt. A copy of He's Just Not That Into You. A copy of... I don't even know. A copy of Lakeview Terrace. Don't Mess With The Zohan. The Bucket List. P.S. I Love You. Deja Vu, great film. Sex in the City. I'm gonna just throw them all in the bin. Cool, that is the first shelf done already. So I'm keeping Sims 4, Lee Evans, Lee Evans, Charlotte Crosby workout, uh, and I'm keeping Ill Manners and The Greatest Showman. Next shelf. <laughs> okay, next, this next shelf is all uh, TV series. We have Skins. This is when only the third series has come out. So this is series one, two, and three. How many were there in the end? Were there six? Uh, definitely one of the DVDs stops at the same point every time. I just need to get rid of it. I'm gonna throw it in the bin. However, I do want the whole collection of Skins because I loved it so, so much. Like Skins was my life, I loved it. So I'm gonna throw them away, but yeah. Uh, next we have Ugly Betty. So this is the third season. Then in the bag from my mum's, I have the first season and the second season. It is a great show. However, am I realistically going to sit and watch them? I'm probably not. So I'm going to get rid of them. Bye bye, Ugly Betty. It's getting a bit dark, isn't it? Jeez. Next is Sex and the City. This is a TV, sh TV show that I have loved so much. This got me through uni. When I was really, really low, I watched this on repeat again and again and again. So I'm definitely, definitely keeping Sex and the City. Same with Gavin and Stacey. I've got one, two, and three here. And then I've got both Christmas specials on the Christmas shelf. Definitely keeping Gavin and Stacey. Dexter. I have never seen Dexter and this is my dad's um, and I think they lent it to me to watch. What I might do is I'll put this on the check pile because there's a few things that my dad lent to me that I need to check if he wants them back or not and so if in the meantime while I'm checking if he wants it back I might tell myself to try and watch it um, during the next like half term holiday from school or something. Um, yes yeah, so I'll put that in the check pile and then we've got Breaking Bad. We've got 
one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna be honest, I started watching Breaking Bad when it came out. I got not that far. Uh, I think his wife was pregnant and had a baby, and I really can't remember anything else. I remember them being around a swimming pool. I've met Sol, or Saul, however you say his name. I really don't know. Uh, and to be honest, I don't think I have, that, that's a lot. That's five series of a TV show. I don't think I've got it in me. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that on the check pile and see if dad wants them back. However, these are also my dad's, but I'm gonna keep them. 24, 24 is a great TV series. Um, it's so, it's just so good. What have I got? Just series one and series two. Yeah so good we used to get through these at dad's house we would go and visit him and watch that one or two um and it's definitely one where 24 it's just so good but it's definitely one where when one episode's finished you're like should we just stick on another one the next one um but i am going to keep that because i bloody loved it and that's the tv series okay next we have some and then also i've got the ones that were by the tv um okay right let's start i feel like some of these are going to be quite hard the first one is the time traveler's wife and my sister's keeper and the notebook i would only keep this for the notebook however i don't think that's a good enough reason to keep the dvd so i'm going to get rid of it uh pretty woman and runaway bride i've never seen runaway bride but i really wanted to um, and pretty woman is a good film i think i'm going to keep that i'll put that in there i think i'm going to keep pile 27 dresses the devil wears prada great films i'm gonna keep them 20 days and 20 no 40 days and 40 nights oh my goodness this is from a place called choices that we used to have that was like blockbuster but it wasn't oh i thought it was quite good but like it's not like one of the best films i've ever seen i'm gonna get rid of it uh the 40 year old virgin i think is quite a good film i think i might keep that about a boy great film I, want it, I was about to sing then. I'm going to keep it. Oh no, am I keeping too many? <sighs> I'm going to get rid of 40 year old virgin. Uh, American Pie the Reunion. I like that. I think it would only be worth keeping if I had all of them and I don't, so I'm going to get rid of it. Am I? It is good though, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Atonement, I'm definitely keeping. If you haven't seen Atonement, it is a great film about a little girl who tells a lie when she's younger and how it affects people's lives it's so good babe why do i have this i have no idea maybe it got bought for me as a joke i've really got no clue it's still in its wrapping i'm getting rid of babe basil the great mouse detective i'm keeping i have such fond memories of watching this when i was younger um i love it so much and you know if you've watched this you know the little is it a mouse or something who's like a ballerina and her like tutu comes up and it looks like a flower bud it's beautiful like i wish i had that in real life i'm keeping that <laughs> before i go to sleep is um as a book amazing i can't really remember um as a film if it was that good but i'm gonna keep it because it is it is good uh the bfg the bfg i'm not gonna keep it but i'm gonna put it in my check pile to see if my mum and my sister want it i think that's a good idea uh big daddy is a good film um but it's not it was like such a classic i feel like everyone loved this at some point and there was a phase where like everyone was obsessed with it um but i'm just, i'm not gonna i'm gonna get rid of it billy elliot i'm keeping because that's a great film borat hmm like i'm looking at some of these and i'm like oh i'd love to see it again like now but i'm sure it's on netflix or it's gonna be on something surely i'm gonna keep it breakfast at tiffany's i bought i remember buying this a few years ago because i had never seen it before and i would have loved to have seen it i know that she sings moon river in here and moon river is one of my favorite songs the andy williams version is my favorite um i think the fact that i've had it for years and haven't watched it kind of says it all so i'm gonna put it in the throwaway giveaway pile um and you know there's a chance i could watch it tonight but i'm probably not gonna keep it the breakfast club great film classic film i love the ending i love that i'm keeping that bridesmaids is a great film um 
just so funny like bridesmaids is a film that i could watch again and again and again and again and again so i'm keeping that bridget jones's diary and bridget jones the edge of reason number one number two keeping them bring it on is actually a classic film and i think my sister Maisie. this is like some of the films i want to introduce her to this is one of them i'm gonna keep it changeling great great film um if you haven't seen changeling you really should see changeling it's angelina jolie her son has gone missing they find her son she doesn't think it is her son and it's just this whole oh it's it's so good it's so good so um i really recommend changeling cheaper by the dozen two i why do i not have cheaper by the dozen one i don't know oh this is cheaper by the dozen and cheaper by the dozen two I'm going to keep them because again uh classics and also introducing to my sister a cinderella story introducing to my sister click i'm keeping a lot of these ones click is great click makes me emotional this costs 75p wow uh click is great i'm gonna keep click and then the ones that were on my TV were Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is actually my sister's. And I said, please, can I borrow it? Because I really want to watch it. And I never gave it back because The Hunchback of Notre Dame is my favourite Disney film, uh, which I'm keeping, obviously. Les Mis in concert. Um, this has Carrie Hope Fletcher in as Fontaine. I'm definitely keeping that. Freaky Friday, I introduced my sister Macy to. She really liked it. I'm keeping Freaky Friday. Next shelf. <laughs> King Kong, why does this feel so thick? There are two discs for King Kong. It's got special features apparently. King Kong, I'm gonna get rid of. I, yeah. Just Friends is actually a really good film. However, it's on Netflix, I think. I'm sure, because I'm sure I've seen it recently. It's a funny film. I'm gonna get rid of it though. I don't need Just Friends. Juno, I am gonna keep, because I think it's a great film. It's a classic. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep Juno. I remember watching it in the cinema. I just fell in love with Juno and used to watch it a lot. John Tucker Must Die <laughs> is actually a great film. Again, I want to introduce my sister to it. So um, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> in Time is actually a great film again. Keeping. Horrible Bosses 1 and Horrible Bosses 2 I'm keeping because they are great. Along with the Harry Potter full collection, all eight films, uh, of course you have to keep that, surely. I'm not even obsessed with Harry Potter, but come on now. Uh, the Hangover, I think is such a good film, I'm going to keep it. Uh, Gran Torino, I know is a good film. Um, I'm going to get rid of it though. It's not one of my favourites. Gone Girl, I'm keeping. Uh, Ghost, I'm going to get rid of Ghost. Uh, I have Frozen, why do I have Frozen? this might be my sister's or maybe it was bought for me because we used to watch it a lot together i mean it's on disney plus but i'm obviously not i'm not gonna have disney plus for the rest of my life am i um i'm gonna keep frozen for now friends with benefits is a good film it's not something that i feel like i need to keep though but it is really good but nah uh the fault in our stars i thought was quite good i wasn't as obsessed as everyone else was i'm gonna get rid of it I'm definitely keeping this. I don't know if anyone has seen this. This is fairy tale. I found this, or maybe I got it for Christmas or something. Um, I used to watch this when I was younger and I loved it so much. It's, I don't even really remember, but it's about two little girls um, and they meet fairies um, and other stuff kind of goes on, uh, but I can't really remember. I just remember the fairies um, and in one scene she's calling out their names and I remember when I was younger writing a list of all the fairies names in case they were real <sighs> fairy tale definitely uh, extremely loud and incredibly close uh, actually a really good film this is about 9-11 it's a sad film I'm gonna get rid of it I'm gonna get rid of it we have Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Do I have Rise of the Planet of the Apes? I do. I think they're great films, so I'm going to keep the Planet of the Apes films. Uh, Coyote Ugly, I'm going to get rid of. We all know what Coyote Ugly is. Oh, they're all falling. Uh, Coco Before Chanel, I watched this years and years ago. And also, I used to be quite obsessed with Chanel. I mean, even now I'm a bit like, oh my gosh, I would love to buy Chanel stuff if I could. Um... 
I don't think it's like the most amazing film ever, but I remember watching it. This one's still in its wrapper, but I did used to watch it somewhere um, and I liked it, but now I'm going to get rid of it. Clueless is a great film, but I've got two versions of Clueless. Um, what's the whatever edition? It's got extra features. So I'm going to keep the whatever edition and I'm going to get rid of this one. Clueless is a classic. And then we've got my three favourite films. Uh, let's start with my actual favourite. Shutter Island is such a great film. Leonardo DiCaprio. This is old. I don't know what year it was filmed. <laughs> I don't know. So good. He is a detective. He goes to this island to sort out a case. But things don't seem right. And it's like a psychological thriller. It's really, really good. Um, Prisoners is again a really really good film uh, it's got Hugh Jackman in it and also the guy that I can't pronounce Jake Gyllenhaal something like that Gyllenhaal I don't know um, they are neighbours and their two daughters go missing together um, and they were well, definitely one of them Hugh Jackman I think is it Hugh I think it is decides to take matters into his own hands when he thinks he knows who did it and stuff like that this is a great ending I watched this at uni and my uni friends did not like the ending at all. I loved the ending, so. Shutter Island has a great ending as well. Law Abiding Citizen, I haven't actually seen this in years, but again, it's probably one of my favorite films. Um, Jared Butler, Jamie Foxx, some people do some horrible things to his family and he seeks out revenge and he seems to have things like all like planned out and things keep happening like even when he's in prison. Um, and you're like, well, how can he be controlling what's happening on the outside world? It's so it's so good like they are my top three films like you know when you're dating people say what are your favorite films i list them three because they're just amazing that was that um shelf these are like i'm reading them in the wrong order like not alphabetical okay saving mr banks i've watched it once it was okay i'm gonna get rid of it <laughs> that was fairly easy room uh i have the book uh i haven't read the book uh as a film i think it's actually quite good um I'm gonna keep room. Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. I have to keep this. It's, it, I used to love this, so definitely. Along with the rise of the Planet of the Apes. Rain Man, I bought. Um, have I seen Rain Man the whole way through? I don't know if I have. Uh, I've seen clips of it in training that I've been on. Um, and also me and an ex-boyfriend went to go see the theater version of Rain Man with Matthew Horn. Um, acting as the brother uh, who has is it actually, does it actually say he has autism or, or Asperger's or something or does it just say he has special needs autistic brother yeah um, and it was really good um, no I'm gonna get rid of Rain Man I need to be a bit more brutal uh, Raising Helen I loved this when I was younger it's about a girl called Helen I think her sister passes away and she has to look after the children and she's like so young and like is not ready to look after children and um it's a really good film i'm gonna get rid of it though pulp fiction i love pulp fiction um see a lot of these i've bought because i love them i'm gonna keep that the prince of egypt i actually have two versions um i bought myself the prince of egypt and my mum bought it for me one year for christmas um, because I used to be obsessed with it when I was younger. This light looks classic, doesn't it? It's got the DreamWorks logo and stuff, and it's like, from the studio that brought you Shrek, here's the Prince of Egypt. And now it's like, yeah, I'm the Prince of Egypt. Um, I'm gonna keep the one that's still in its wrapper. <laughs> uh, the Perfect Man, good film. I used to love all Hilary Duff films and all Mary-Kate and Ashley films. I'm gonna get rid of it though. The Parent Trap I'm gonna keep because I think it's a classic. Uh, and One Day as well. I really liked the book and I really liked the film. A lot of people didn't like Anne Hathaway's Northern Accent, however I didn't mind it, but this is obviously like years ago when I watched it. Um, if you don't know about One Day, it's so good. It literally focuses on one day of the year, the same day, every single year, and it shows you like where these guys are. They're, um, I know the guy's called Dexter, I think. Emma and Dexter, they like meet, I think, at university and it just shows you like what their life's like as the years go by. They're so good. Um, I have this, which I've had for a few years, A Nightmare on Elm Street. 
includes both the 2010 remake and the original. <sighs> I got bought this as a present from someone and I don't know why they bought it for me because I hate horror, I can't stand it, I can't cope with it. Um, I'm not gonna watch this, so that's going. Uh, New Year's Eve is actually a nice little film. It's like Love Actually, but it's based on New Year's Eve. You know that Mother's Day is one as well, like there's like lots of people's stories. I'm gonna keep that. My Girl I'm gonna keep because that's classic. As, long, as well as my best friend's wedding. I used to be obsessed with this, especially the intro when it's that woman and she's singing that song. I don't know if I'm the right words, but it's like, just love him and hold him and squeeze him and kiss him and do do and do 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 do. Yeah, um, great film. Material Girls is Hilary Duff and her sister. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it, but uh, you know, I used to love them, but hey. Um, Maleficent, I'm gonna keep because I love Maleficent. Made in Manhattan, I'm gonna get rid of. I mean, it is actually a great film. Um, it's got J-Lo in it. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it. Lucy, I'm gonna get rid of. It was okay, it was all right. I think, yeah, it was a bit action-y. Les Mis, I am going to keep. Uh, Legally Blonde, I am going to keep. Hello. Uh, and La La Land, I'm going to keep as well. Uh, what Women Want, I, I actually loved this when I first watched it and also the guy meets Tony Robbins and I remember learning about Tony Robbins when I was at university. Uh, it's Mel Gibson. Is this, I think this is when he can read women's minds. Um, all I remember is like the sex scene, but um, I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> what to expect when you're expecting is a great film. I'm gonna keep that. I've forgotten about this film. Oh my goodness, The Wedding Date. This is a good film. What's her name? Deborah Messing. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of The Wedding Date, even though it is good. Uh, War Horse, I'm going to get rid of. I love the show War Horse, I've seen it twice. I don't actually know if I've seen the film, but I don't really want to particularly see the film, so I'm gonna get rid of that. The Vow, I'm not really into, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uncle Buck, great film, I'm gonna keep that. Um, and This Is England is a great film. I would love to have the series as well. Um, and have them all together. I used to love This Is England. This Is 40, a great classic film. It's like almost Bridesmaids-esque. It's just like a nice, funny one that you can just chill and watch. I like that. There's something about Mary I have to keep because that is such a classic. And when my sister's older, I feel like she'll love it. Trainwreck, great film. It's wrapped up, but I did watch it a couple of times before. Um, and I remember actually, I think this is the film that me and a friend, we exchanged Christmas presents and we both bought each other the same thing. Um, I love, I love Trainwreck. Centrinians, I used to love. Um, I, I've opened it up and it looks like there's actually a musical CD in here rather than actually Centrinians. Um, what logo is that? It's like a T and then... I'm gonna have to listen to that, I have no idea. So that's gonna go in my check pile. Step Up, everyone used to love this, didn't they? I'm getting rid of it. Still Alice, um, I'm going to get rid of, but I know my dad really liked it, um, but I'm gonna get rid of it. The Stanford Prison Experiment is actually a really good film. I think my dad, when he watched it, or my brother, like they were over, they were underwhelmed, um, but it's a true story. They did a prison experiment where they, um, got different personality types and they made a fake prison and they made some of you uh, prisoners and some of you guards and they wanted to see whether being a prisoner or a guard whether your personality like changed or not um, and there's a lot of tension in it um, it's, it's really good source code I feel like it's just a classic actually um, and I can never really get my head around the ending of it so I'm gonna keep that Sleepless in Seattle, great film, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Shallow Howl, I'm gonna get rid of it. Sex in the City 2, I'm gonna keep. Hairspray, I'm gonna keep. Sleeping Beauty, I am definitely going to keep. Uh, when Harry Met Sally, I will get rid of that. Sex in the City, I'm going to keep. Schindler's List, I don't think I could face watching this. I remember watching it in secondary school and getting so upset about it. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, and then we've got a box set of all the Saw films. Now, there was a newer one that came out. This has got seven films in. I feel like the, oh no, this has got the final chapter in. Is that the last one though? I feel like there was like a, 
something else that came out afterwards. Um, I like these. I don't like scary films or horror films. I don't like them, but I like thrillers and I, I like gore. I just don't like being made to jump. And I think there are a couple of occasions here that make you jump, but more this is like understanding, like how would I get out of that situation? Um, and trying to work out like, why is that person in there? And what is that? Why is this person doing that? And that kind of thing, you know? Um, so I'm going to keep that. I forgot the DVDs that my mum gave me. Um, oh look, Lee Evans' Big Life at the O2. I think because I'm keeping the one that's got all three of them on, I'm gonna get rid of this. Mamma Mia the movie, my mum really likes this and she doesn't like many musicals. Um, it's good, I don't think it's amazing, but what I'm gonna do is see if my mum wants it. Um, so I'll put that in my checking pile. Kid Hood. I love kid adulthood and adulthood. I'm gonna keep this, um, but we don't need to talk about, uh, you know, Noel Clark. Uh, Crossroads with Britney Spears in, of course I'm keeping this, hello. Uh, Moulin Rouge, I'm going to get rid of. Legally Blonde 2, I'm keeping. This is a Cinderella story and another Cinderella story with Selena Gomez in. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of them. <laughs> Uh, dirty Dancing and then Dirty Dancing the official dance workout. I might keep, keep the fitness one, that might be quite funny. Um, dirty Dancing actually, I used to be obsessed with it. I used to know most of the words, like the whole intro, like the year was blah blah blah, our first year of the Kellermans and all that, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it because it is a classic. One more, The Sound of Music. I did again, I used to love The Sound of Music. Now, I can give or take the sound of music. I would maybe watch it. However, I don't think it's worth keeping the DVD off. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six shelves worth that I've taken out. I'm going to put them all back. We'll see how much space is left. I'm leaving the CD drawer for the time being and also the Christmas shelf like is obviously everything's gonna stay on the Christmas shelf, hello. Um, but yeah, I'll put everything back, try and put it in alphabetical order and then show you again. Um, but based on like the films that I've kept or the films that I like, if you've got any recommendations of films I should see, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put them all back and I will show you them in a second. Okay, so here's an overview. I have now taken up one, two, three, four. Then I've got two spaces. At another point I'm going to go through my CDs and maybe I won't keep them there but at least I've got space for my books now which is good um, but here is like a closer thing so at the top now instead of just being games and comedians it's games, uh, workout stuff, comedians, TV shows like this is all the TV shows I'm keeping and then the memories DVDs at the top then we go into the alphabetical order there's a lot of pink here isn't there <laughs> um, to F Frozen, then we get to G Gone Girl, and there's all of these. Um, and then one day, all the way to the last one, which is what to expect when you're expecting. I'm very, very happy with that. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video if you were interested in it at all. Um, but I feel good, I've now got like so I've now got this pile of stuff I'm getting rid of. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Then we've got the pile of questions I have, like do do, do people want this or things to check? And then this is stuff that's definitely 100% going in the bin. As I said, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know some people really like just decluttering videos in general. Um, and yeah, I feel like good. I've got space, um, which is always good. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in a few days in my next video. Bye!